Well, what I've been doing is going around to all the uh, businesses in the uh, electorate. There's about 10,000 small businesses here. As we know, the uh, small businesses are the uh, engines of, of the economy. And the economy is a big part of this um, election. As uh, we've been hearing that, uh, and we know that they've been suffering. Uh, there's not boom times out there. So the, so the question is, well, what are we going to do about it? There's one single answer that can be done here in the Fisher electorate, and it should have been done 15 years ago. And what that is, is the, inter, is the international air, airport at the Sunshine Coast has been planned for, for a long, long time, but nobody has had the, had the vision or the desire or the will uh, to get it up. Uh, the council own it, uh, they've had the plan, but the local uh, federal members here and the state members have failed to uh, pick it up and run with it, mainly because they're um, really taken for granted um, you know, with the powers that be in Canberra, and these are safe seats. But um, we need to change that because uh, the coast here is missing out on billions and billions of dollars, which will drop into the economy once that um, Sunshine Coast airport is made international. Also, of course, that will take a lot of pressure off the Bruce Highway, because instead of everybody here having to go down to Brisbane to fly anywhere uh, north, um, uh, people can come to the Sunshine Coast uh, Airport and fly away from here. So there'll be, there'll, there'll be a big catchment area from um, probably Maryborough to Kabulsha that will, will, will come here and use it. Um, it'll be sensational. Now, I've gone around every business, and I can tell you that 95% of the businesses think that this is a good idea and it should have been done 15 years ago. And, um, and, and uh, a lot of the economic issues that are here will be solved by that. Now, all the other parties talk about reducing input costs and stronger economy and all that sort of nonsense, but nobody's actually come up with an, something that can be done. We've come up with something that can be done. It's as obvious as anything, but they can't see it. Now, why can't they see it? Well, frankly, because these people are professional politicians. Professional politicians aren't business people. These things are obvious to business people. We're business people, so um, it'll get done. You mentioned uh, neglect of the area, and uh, from existing polling that seems to be around at the moment, uh, minor new parties, such as, as Cata and yourselves, are starting to get a, a quite a bit of traction. Where do you think that vote is coming from? Well, it's coming from everywhere. <clears throat> the red team and the blue team have been around now since Federation, since the uh, 1900s. That's 113 years. Now, we saw, for example, when Australia won the America's Cup <clears throat> quite some years ago, that cup had been held on to by the New York Yacht Club for 132 years. And what they did to, to uh, retain the cup was actually keep changing the rules so that to keep the other competitors out. And frankly, that's what's happened in the history of the red team and the blue team. They keep changing the rules to keep all the other parties out and, and, and to swap the, um, uh, the, the tag um, between the red team and the blue team. Why? Because it suits them. There's three or four generations of politicians there now that are schooled up in how to, how, how, how to do that. Well, well, we think it's time for a bit more competition. Uh, we think that uh, it's time for the gold team. Uh, so go for the gold. You've probably going to get uh, a fair amount of sway depending upon how many seats that you, you, you get um, in both the reps and in, in the Senate. How will you go about um, managing the business and looking at the policies of, let's say for example, should a major party get up? Well, hang on. We, 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 we believe we are a major party. Yep. We are standing for every seat in the House of Representatives. There's 150. Now, the blue team aren't fielding 150, nor are the red team. The gold team are. So we believe we are a major party. We are the major party. Clive Palmer is the um, first person who's emerged in 113 years to come out and say, I want to be Prime Minister of this country and I've got the team to do it. So we are a major party, it's just that we um, uh, haven't been, haven't been uh, around at this time. And the timing of this is, is fantastic because <clears throat> people have had an absolute gutful 
with what's happened in the last 10 years, you know. And it is, the feeling is, is that the, the duopoly system has let us down and it's time for somebody who knows how to run the country can, um, can um, stand up and, 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 and do it. Well, with the Sunshine Coast, obviously, there's, uh, there's infrastructure issues. You've mentioned the airport. There's the airport. There's obviously the uh, Bruce Highway. And um, there's obviously also, um, you know, rail. Much can be done there to duplicate things. And, and also perhaps a light rail that's been on the, on the, on the books there for, um, for, for, for Maroochydore. So, yeah, th th there are those things there. Why should we be voting for Bill Shock on Saturday and the Palmer United Party in the well, for prosperity in, in our region, that is uh, <clears throat> Fisher and, and for Fairfax, um, at last, uh, voters here have a, have a chance to, to put in uh, the new party, the <clears throat> a, a party which will make a lot of noise. Uh, Clive Palmer is known for creating a lot of uh, noise and people pay attention to him. Um, I've had the privilege of working with uh, Clive since uh, 1978 and I've known him four years before that. And I can tell you, you know, in a room full of uh, executives, um, he can uh, uh, win over everybody. So if he's in a room with somebody like Tony Abbott or, or Kevin Rudd or anybody, it won't be too long before everybody will form it behind Clive. He's, he's a force of nature. He's a, he's a common sense policy guy. And he's just one of these one in 100 million people who can take Australia forward. So that's why people should be voting, you know, for Clive and for myself, because we'll form a formidable team here on the Sunshine Coast and we'll get things done.